the Ruth Loves to Knit podcast. I'm Ruth and I love to knit. It is Wednesday the 18th of October 2023 and I'm coming to you as always from Devon in the southwest of England. Um, slightly different place in my house today. <laughs> um, I'll explain why in a wee minute um, but I thought I would just quickly jump on um, I'll explain that why it's a quick jump on too um, and um, when I had a chance and just talk a wee bit about the make along the dust them off um, M Cal, which um, has been going since uh, July and is going on to the end of um, December I will apologize many of you know if you've watched in um, the last podcast I had COVID and now Straight after COVID, I got a lovely dose of the cold and I can still hear it in my voice. I have an irritating cough and um, I hope it isn't too off-putting today. And the reason that I'm in my kitchen, I'm just looking behind me to make sure there's nothing that <laughs> you shouldn't see. It's a family kitchen. It's the hub of the home. And um, yeah, <laughs> if you could see what's in front of me, it's a mess. Um, but we're here anyway and the reason we're here is it's a very dull day today in Devon although of course look the sun's come out uh, we have a new addition to our family I will put a picture of the new addition this is Clementine she is a I think now a 16 week old Chorky <laughs> which is a cross between a Chihuahua and a Yorkshire Terrier and my husband thought in his wisdom that we would rescue a wee dog from the dog's trust and then he would go off to Ireland for a week. So <laughs> I am here and uh, she's great. She's very well behaved. She's already got a bit of training, but uh, it's like having a baby in the house again. You're taking things out of her mouth. You're telling her to stop. Your um, honey, our other wee dog, um, is uh, tolerating her. Maybe it's the best way to, to say it. And uh, you need eyes in the back of your head. But I'm going to say it softly. Both are sleeping at the moment. So this may be a bit choppy, but hopefully we'll get through it. And I just wanted to jump on because I haven't actually been doing it very, I've been doing very little knitting because of our new addition, because of not feeling great. Um, but I wanted to quickly um, talk about the, the, the make along, the MCAL, show you the prizes at last, the ones I've got so far, this might not be all there is, um, and um, just get you enthused again about um, the make along. Loads of entries coming in, loads of FOs coming in on email, which is, if you want to send it by email, is ruthlovestoknit um, at gmail.com. There's no M in it, obviously. Ruth, not <laughs> Ruth loves to knit at gmail.com and or on Instagram at hashtag dust them off mal. Either the mal is the chatty, showing us what you're doing. And then if you finished, you put it in dust them off mal FO. I'm sorry, there's a bit of a shade over my face, but maybe that's better. <laughs> maybe that's, that's better um, at the moment. Um, so I have got loads by email. So there's obviously a big percentage of you don't use Instagram or you've got a private account. That's the other thing. If you've got a private account, I can't see your FO. So do definitely check. Um, and if you don't want to make your your um, account public, not a bother at all. I know what it's like. Um, just send it to me by email and, and you're as entered as anybody else. And I think we're going to do it the old fashioned way. I'm going to write down everybody's names. My daughter says she'll pick them out of a hat. Um, very democratic. Um, or we'll use our friend, um, you know who, the electronic gadget in the corner. Um, I'll not say it out loud because she'll probably talk to me. Um, but yeah, just um, dusting off those magazines, books, Ravelry patterns, anything you have that you owned before the 1st of July this year. Uh, and some people are doing it with ancient uh, stash. Some people are doing it with ancient. I think a lady um, came on to me today or this week. She sent me an email and said she had, she had picked up something from the 80s. I think she might have to win a special prize. Can anybody beat that? Um, and uh, yeah, she's decided, although she's a bit worried her tension might have changed, but... You know, you never know. You never know. Well, I wanted to show you the prize. I want to remind you of, um, actually, I want to show you something first. <laughs> this is great. It's all over the, all the place. As you know, if you've watched before, I um, was knitting on two shawls for um, test knits, which I'm not doing anymore. <laughs> test knits for lovely Anna Uti and um, the Coastland shawl. And you'll remember this one. 
hope I can get the colors this uh, down here. This one, um, the beautiful detail. Um, this one was in Woolly Knit, 100% British Wool in the colorway Sea Foam. Um, they don't have this color anymore, but they do have other ones that are very similar. And if you remember, I did it wrong and I did it a lot smaller than it was supposed to be. Look at that, isn't that lovely? But still a brilliant size. Still a brilliant size, look. If I stand up, everything will go. I'm trying not to jiggle the table, so don't jiggle you. Because if you could see my setup, I normally use um, a proper, like, no, lovely stand. This I have you on one, two, three, four, five, six theology books from my husband's study. So it's all very precarious. Uh, but this is the this is the smaller version. Oh, I love it. And um, I did get this is the only thing my only finished object really. Um, I did get this beauty finished. And this is the large size. There are two sizes. Sorry about the light. There are two sizes in the um, finished pattern. Um, just to show you the detail again. Isn't it just gorgeous? And um, I mean, this is oh, just a massive hug. It really is. I hope you can see it, even though the lighting's shocking. Oh, the shell stitch or the shell pattern's gorgeous. Now, um, the reason I want to mention those today, even though this is about the MCAL, is because she's bringing these out on the 21st. This, this um, pattern is going to be published on the 21st, the Coastland Shawl. So do please keep an eye out. If you want a lovely, um, what do you say, potato chippy, um, sitting in front of the fire, watching podcasts, um, sit and chat and kind of knit this is the knit for you now there's a lot of knit in it it is it is um uh, four ply the red the maroony lovely deep wine color is john arbin knit by numbers um i'll maybe talk about it more in a proper podcast but yes i just wanted to do drop a wee um flea in your ear what is it ear burn <laughs> to um just remind you that that'll be coming out and um i can't say enough good things about that pattern. Anyway, back to the MCAL. So make along, I did expect all sorts of things. I said you could do anything, but it's all um, crochet and knitting so far. So ha brilliant, happy days. And a lot of people have said that they're really chuffed to be able to um, pull out their, their books and really get stuck in. And if you remember, my first entry, of course I can't win prizes, was the Hereth shawl. A few of you said you did it. Um, ma another massive shawl. I have no shame. I love it. I love them. Um, I actually wore this one <laughs> in bed <laughs> quite a bit when I was feeling rubbish because it was hot and cold and hot and cold. Um, and this is by Claire w uh, w Wells. I think, yes, it's all, it's all the details are in my last podcast. And um, I uh, did it out of the 52 Weeks of Sock book in Witchcrafty Lady DK. It's actually showing the right colour down here. I never could get the right colour um, up in my craft room. So lovely chestnut. So that's that. That's what I did. And then the second one that I'm doing for it, and I honestly don't know if I'll get it done before the end of the year. Where have I put? This is the, um, let me get a good picture. It's the Gotland Lace Yoke. With a lovely colour work. But it's, and it's from the, uh, Shetland Wool Week, sorry, sorry. Um, and, but it's bottom up on, oh, what a labor of love. This is all I've done so far. <laughs> That's all I've done so far, but that truly is the color. Oh, gorgeous. Like a lovely royal blue, petrol blue. That's it there. So that's all I've done. It's an absolute labor of love. Doing, I'm so spoiled doing top down sweaters, but we'll keep plugging away. It's actually probably exactly what I need at the minute when I'm kind of jumping up every two minutes to the puppy. And um, yeah, when my husband's away and the kids are, go the kids are off on half term and they're at school till tomorrow and then they're off on half term. And then I'm taking them to Ireland to go and see my parents on Tuesday, Tuesday till Saturday next week. So hopefully things will have calmed down a little bit by the time we come back. So 
Let's calm it down. <laughs> so yes, those are my two entries. So what can you win? What are the prizes? I know a lot of you just do it for the fun. And um, if I enter an, an, an MCAL or a knit along, generally I just do it for the fun too. But I wanted to show you the prizes so far. Um, there is another possible one coming, so we'll see. So I'll just, there might be a bit of rustling because obviously with the, the dogs don't get upstairs or anything or near my yarn, definitely not. But just in case I've kept all the yarn in um, plastic. Saying that, the first one isn't in plastic because I've just lifted it out. So the first one, I've done them in little kind of packages of treats, so to speak. And um, the first one is this beauty. Oh, can you see it? I don't know what way to turn it in this light. This one is Silver Sparkle 4 Ply by Woolly Goodness Yarns. If you watch before, you know it's the softest yarn in the world. It's actually... A little bit brighter than that that's just a little bit brighter rainbow and storm storm cloud set 70% merino superwash merino 20% nylon and 5% stellina so it's just a wee 50 gram sock set can we not do it justice kind of beautiful greens and a wee the wee sock set then um oh i'm gonna one of these um yarn holders should have put it together with the handle from Dear Designs. Keep calm and carry yarn. You put your yarn on there and it swings. It's got the sheep. <laughs> it's got the wee um, thing for your wrist. So, and then, well, there's a wee Love Beyond Measure tape. Oh, where's the thing to put it back in there? It says Love Beyond Measure on the back and Love Beyond Measure on the front. These are all in like little um, bags. Then, oh, this was a bad idea. Sorry, talk among yourselves. I'll take it out as easy as quick as I can. This lovely wee stitch marker box from Generates. And inside, I love these. It says unique and original tools and notions. And there are stitch markers that say, uh, knitting is my superpower. Oh. Can you even see it? There we go. And then these ones here, just lovely. Wee. They're wooden. So those will be going in the package. And then a wee um, little grey girl bag, just a wee sock size. See the details? Perfect. I would love to get in any of these prizes. That's the way I always look at the, the prizes. What would I like to receive, you know? So let's put these out of the way. So that's the first one. The second one is in plastic, which probably, oh, it doesn't show up too bad. And this is Super Sock by um, my friends, Sam and Danny from the Woolly Adventure. They sent this, this, they sent this to us. And it's 75 Superwash Merino, 25 Nylon, and it's called My Happy Place. Well, it's called Happy Place. And they sent a little, um, um, 20 gram as well and a few wee goodies there too I'll just send the whole packet lovely lavenders and purples and pinks and it's just gorgeous then oh, I should have maybe put this with the other one but never mind <laughs> then a lovely um bag from I think this is Sinead's Crafts Siobhan's Crafts Sinead's Crafts there's no label on it but I'm nearly sure it's um Siobhan Crafts lovely and lovely lining and then some, um, oh, you see them? From Ducky Darling stitch holders, you know the um, silicone stitch holders in a lovely wee box. Then another Love Beyond Measure tape. Um, a Twill and Print project, uh, Progress Keeper of, you see it? And it's a wee moth. Some little atomic um, buttons. And the price is still on them. <laughs> and then from um, Mouses Makes, Mandy from Mouses Makes, her husband does lovely uh, leather craft things. Now I bought this, but I bought two of them because I wanted to spread the love. And um, a wee notions tray just to sit beside you um, with all your wee bits and pieces in instead of on the floor or under you or, and you just, it just goes flat. That's made out of leather, it smells beautiful, red. 
So that's the, that's the second prize. Sorry about the crinkling. Third prize is no yarn, but I think it's just as exciting. And it's a, there's a wee bag. Life happens, knitting helps. Certainly at the moment, that's, a, that's the case. Oh, there's no, um, no, there's no name on that. I'll try and find out the name for that uh, when I'm actually calling out the prizes because it's a small maker, let's see. Let me see, there's a wee thing down in here. No, no, I actually got her. I'll find it out. It's a, wee, it's a British small maker on Etsy. Then a little Emma Ball tin to put your all your bits in. Coco Knit Snips. They're lethal. See the Coco Knits. Some more buttons from Atomic Knitting. We shell buttons. A lovely set of stitch or progress markers by Green and Glass. It's another British um, uh, Etsy seller. A lovely wee notebook. You can put your do your designs in there, or I find this the checked is great for um, um, color work if you're not sure about a color work chart. Just doing that. Sorry about the shadows. Then um, and along avec Anna pin, wool lover, and then this beauty. This is a Twizzler. Still, still not sure you get in the box. So you can see how. It's in hay, you know, for protection. And this, if, if you want to Google it, it is a company in Europe. And um, maybe you can see there, you put the, this down through your yarn and it spins and um, you can go on the go or you can do it while you're traveling. It's made of metal. And um, that's another, that's in that prize too. So really, really, although there's no yarn in the prize, really, really good wee prize. Trying to get prizes that won't be too heavy. So if I have to send them overseas, I'm not going to be bankrupt. But also ones that you'll be really, really pleased to get. Um, that was, so all the stuff could go in there and then a Twizzler. So that's prize three. Prize there's five, just so don't switch off. Um, number five is this, sorry, beautiful DK yarn from um, Beehive Yarns. Now this was in my stash and I have pulled it out so many times to use it and I just thought, you know what, I'm going to gift it to somebody. And this one is terracotta and it's um, extra fine merino and this one is hoggle. And it, or no, it's called hoggle. Oh, they're both, and they're both on her dolly base, sorry. And this is extra fine merino and there's 230 meters. So good, a good um, meterage. That's it there. So they go together beautifully. Don't know what you would use it for a hat or a small shawl or anyway then another little twill and print b uh progress keeper then a dela q beautiful dela q it's coming up it's mustard so it goes beautifully with the yarn <laughs> and it's got some bits inside it's metallic it's got um not metallic <gasps> oh excuse me um Oh, magnetic, good grief. Um, so you can stick all your bits in there and it comes in a lovely wee box. And then last but not least is a project bag from Love It. And even if you're not a bright person, look at that, you can gift it. You can give it to somebody. It's a beautiful canvas. Oh, this is all hand done. Um, and a really good size uh, drawstring, but I'll not I'll not pull the drawstrings in, so don't um, rumple it. So that's another fantastic prize as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Maybe biased. And then last but not least is the beautiful blue fern yarns sock set that um, Shannon donated. It is honeysuckle and classic sock. Uh, 425 meters per 100 grams and an 85. Really not enjoying down here. <laughs> there you go. Just have to do what you have to do to get things done, don't you? Then another little twill and print, but this time it's a snail. I'm going over from the wrong place. This time it's a snail with a yarn ball. Then some more wee shell buttons. And then in this wee goody thing, 
This is a lovely, oh, what would this be made out of? Like silicone? Look at that. And then inside are the, this is from, okay, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. What's so perfect? The silicone bands, the stitch holders, all inside this, and you could use that for your stitch markers and things too. So um, I've had this for a wee while um, to do a giveaway and thought now would be the perfect the perfect time. And then last but not least, an Emma Ball bag there. Let me see better here. With the knitting grip on it. Which one are you? <laughs> Which one are you? <laughs> so that's the prizes. I think it's great. I'm so chuffed. Some of them were donated. Some of them are from my, my stash. Some of them I've picked up along the way, as um, I'm sure all podcasters do. They um, they see wee things and think, oh, that would be perfect for um, the podcast. Um, and that's what I've done. So um, I would be very glad to get these out of my house by um, January sometime, as they're taking up quite a lot of room. Um, I do have one more prize that I'm going to give away before Christmas. Um, it's gorgeous and I'm very tempted to keep it myself, but um, I'm going to, so that'll be for the next podcast. Um, and yes, I'm chuffed a bit for those, those prizes. I hope you are too. I hope you think it's worthwhile doing. I hope you think it's worthwhile taking part. Open worldwide. I will send them to wherever you are. Um, and if I get another anything else, I'll show you. But I just wanted to do a wee catch up as I'll be away next week. And um, so it'll probably be well into maybe even November. Can you believe it? Before I get the chance to um, podcast again. Sorry, this was such a shambles. Hope you could see what I was actually showing you. I'll not know till I <laughs> till I uh, go into the the editing process. But um, hopefully I, with my voice and I've talked a thousand miles an hour, that um, you've got a little bit of something there to, to tantalise your, your knitting taste buds. And if you haven't started, there's a million, a million days still to go. Socks, doesn't matter what it is. Something small, socks, hats. Um, some people have done sweaters. Um, whips are fine, as in um, if you've started 25%, but come on, 25% of a sock. Come on now. Um, but I do want FOs, but I will have one of these prizes for the chat, but the rest of them will be for the FO. In fact, I'm wondering, should these all be for the FOs because they're pretty decent prices, prizes? And I might just um, conjure up something <laughs> for the chat. But I really, really appreciate you just being with me for this short period today. Um, as I say, it's just about the MCAL. Hopefully, normality will uh, resume at some point in this house. The sun has come out, so I think I'm going to make the most of getting the dogs out for um, a walk. Um, Clementine, we've shorted to Clemmy. Um, we didn't name her. She was already named. As I say, she was a wee rescue. Um, and her and Honey are um, <laughs> not quite friends yet, shall we say. But uh, I think we're getting there. Honey's been on her own here with us for nearly five years. So um, I think she's got a wee bit of... Uh, needs to learn to share a wee bit but anyway hopefully next time we're back up in the craft room um and back to knitting again really haven't knit very much um i just have slept a lot um tried to go out and get some fresh air and uh, i haven't lost my mojo in any shape or form but just haven't been um up to knitting or following a pattern or anything so the round and round is good um for uh, when your brain just is mush, isn't it? <laughs> well, listen, thanks for spending some time with me. I really, really appreciate it. And we'll see you next time. All right, God bless. Bye.